Well, welcome back to Thoughts While Thinking. And you got to remember that these uh, opinions expressed here are mine and mine alone. They don't represent anybody else's opinion, just mine. But I do want to thank T-SPAN, Texas uh, News Digest, uh, that's uh, helping me along with this thing. So anyway, we're going to get past rearranging our prejudices and judging people. We're thinking about thinking. I think we've got around and got to thinking about our thinking. And I was thinking that uh, the opposite of courage is not cowardice. The opposite of courage is conformity. Now think about conformity for a minute. We've been conforming now for four or five years totally. Well, actually, we've been conforming for about... Uh, 70, 80 years, but uh, we've just really uh, bent down on our knees and started conforming uh, in the last three or four years. And uh, just think about what conformity is. We've been conforming to the mask. We've been conforming to the shots. We've been conforming to uh, high uh, taxes. We've been conforming to high property taxes. We've been conforming to them, to doing away with our Constitution little bit by little bit. And uh, we've got to remember that, uh, you know, our uh, freedoms are not going to be taken away by a gunpoint, probably. Uh, they're going to be taken away a little bit of, at a time with a little bit of piece of paper, with a little piece of paper that has a little, me little meaningless uh, deal about limiting your speech. Well, that started way back on her when we decided we had hate speech. Now think about that hate speech. Uh, they've come a long way without hate speech. Now then, everything is racism and hate speech. I mean, that's the control. It's the hate speech. It's control. It's done away with your free speech. And we got to uh, regenerate some courage and uh, get back to where uh, we're uh, supporting our freedom. And... Uh, you know, the uh, modern liberals, I, I don't think they're uh, uh, really liberals. I think they're just liberals that uh, uh, are governed by uh, their emotions. And I think they're manipulated by the people that know that they are governed by their emotions. And if you don't really uh, think I'm right on that, just uh, ask yourself how they uh, went from supporting free speech for everybody to uh, censorship of many? Well, the answer is the manipulator told them to. Well, who's the manipulator? Well, we got to get back to the mass media again. And uh, the mass media and the high tech is manipulating us and uh, telling us what to think and how to bend down and uh, worship government. Well, are we too obedient? Well, we've been above obedient, all right. We've let them shut us down. We've let them take away our economy. We've let them make us uh, get shot. We've uh, let them uh, wear masks. And uh, just think back for a little bit. Just uh, do a little bit of thinking your own. You don't have to rearrange your prejudices. Uh, just think about what the facts are, what has happened. I mean... Uh, you can't change uh, what what has happened. Some people try to change it, uh, the history, but uh, <laughs> the history still it happened when uh, ain't nothing you can do about it. It just happened, and and even dead fish can uh, f go with a flow, and we've been a bunch of dead fish floating along with a flow for the last uh, seventy, eighty years, and you know. Uh, the cowards are in high places, and uh, they can only threaten us when they feel safe. And the reason they feel safe is that uh, they've got the uh, mass media. They've got the mass media behind them, and they've got a lot of people behind them, and they got the government in high places behind them. And the world is not fair, and it's often... Uh, Fools and cowards and liars and selfish hide in those high places. Well, here you got to think about that a little bit. And you got to uh, stuff away the uh, politics of the matter and just look at the cold, hard facts. And the courage is a choice. And uh, 
we got to have courage to quit conforming. And we got to have that courage uh, uh, to keep uh, those uh, enemies away. Well, you know, cowards don't have any enemies. That's the only people that don't have any enemies is cowards. So if we don't want to have enemies, we got to have courage. And uh, we got to have courage to get rid of that. And these cowards are dangerous. They're dangerous. <laughs> a, a group of cowards is as dangerous or more dangerous than a group of stupid people. Oh, well, think about that. And, you know, Robespierre says uh, uh, the secret uh, to freedom lies in educating people, whereas the secret to tyranny is keeping them ignorant. Now, let's look back at our school system starting back in uh, 1979 uh, when they established that uh, federal uh, education agency. Well, they started dumbing down our kids right then because they knew that uh, if they keep them ignorant and quit them thinking and just make them uh, know how to respond to orders uh, and rules, uh, they would have the way their way, and they got it. So our children must be taught to think again, get back to that old read, writing, and arithmetic and uh, thinking. I mean, because if they can't think, they can't generate uh, uh, any ideas of their own and uh, be their own person. And all these words are meaningless unless we back them up. And we got to back up those words when it comes to this critical race theory. And it's hid behind, uh, it's uh, uh, hiding uh, the cultural Marxism. Uh, that uh, critical race theory is a theory. And uh, it ain't a fact. Uh, <laughs> and they're rewriting history and we got to get rid of that cultural Marxism. And we got to smash it, just uh, be real cruel and smash it. And we got to, we're under enough pressure right now that we ought to have enough courage that we can uh, do something about it. And the media can't really push us around like they used to. There's the thousands of us little digital soldiers out there uh, trying to spread the word and we get rid of uh, those lies in a few minutes and the uh, and the narratives that used to last for weeks and months are destroyed in days. And you got to remember that we are the news. We are the storm. So uh, we are uh, got to get the move on. And we got to get back to uh, uh, limiting government and uh, not the people. And right now the people is just totally limited. And this old Ethiopian proverb uh, Give advice, and if the people don't listen, let the adversary teach them. Well, the adversary has been teaching us a real hard to listen for the last few years. And we got to get back to like Eisenhower and uh, Kennedy. They got along, and the Democrats and the Republicans worked together to the benefit of the people and uh, keeping the government small. And that's my thoughts while thinking, and all of you modern liberals, I'm right and you're all wrong. <laughs> and us old would-be cowboys ain't just made of boots and hats. We're made of the men inside that still reflects his raising. And our raising was uh, um, uh, respecting our mother and our father and our country and our pride in our uh, achievements so we're just going to say adios and uh, and I hope you rearrange some of your uh, judgments and prejudices and we'll see you on the flip side <laughs>